Okay, this is a quick little tutorial on how to use Audacity to generate beat frequencies. We come up here uh, under Generate, and we're going to generate a tone. Uh, notice it'll generate a sine wave with a frequency of 440 hertz, an amplitude of 1.0, and for a time of 30 seconds. We're going to keep the 440 hertz and just decrease the amplitude uh, to uh, half the size. So we're going to have an amplitude of 0.5 and decrease the length of the tone to 10 seconds. That should be plenty. We use the magnifying tool, we can come in and take a look at what our wave looks like. And a simple sine wave looks like this. We can listen to that note, and it's very simple. So what we want to do to create a beat frequency is we need another wave, a wave that will interfere in time with this wave. So we want to lay down another audio track, okay, right here. So select new audio track, select that audio track window. And we're going to generate another tone, and this time the only thing we're going to change is the frequency just by a few hertz. So we're going to go up to, let's say, 445 hertz. Okay, there's our new tone. Notice it sounds pretty similar to our other one. If I want to play just that track, I'll hit solo. And it would be pretty tough for your ear to hear the difference between those two. But what we'd like to do is add these together. And the easiest way to do that is, uh, and keep both of these tracks so that we can see it, is to select both of them. Uh, come up here and hit duplicate and what that's going to do down below is add two more of the exact same kind of tracks. So the easiest thing to do is select these two new tracks and under project we can hit quick mix and that uh, will add those two tracks together onto one and what we can see then is we still have our two original waves that we can look at and we've got our added together waves uh, in this mixed track. Now what we can do is we can analyze this a little bit. Notice that where uh, crests of waves overlap with crests of waves, we have a large amplitude wave. And where crests of waves overlap with troughs of waves, we have a minimum amplitude wave. And uh, if we want to listen to what a beat frequency sounds like, then of those two waves added together, uh, here it is. And you can hear that that's getting louder and quieter and louder and quieter. And that's a beat frequency. So now you can generate your own beat frequencies of uh, two waves or more than two waves and uh, explore beat frequencies.